Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey, everybody, we are back. I'm excited to be here with you on episode 2568 of the Cabral Concept. Today, we're going to be going through all things binders. What is a binder? What should the ingredients be? Who should use it? Who shouldn't use it? And how to use it for short and longer term use. So excited to go through today's show. Again, all of the show notes will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 2568. I'll be able to link up research and I'll be able to link up uh, product guides. The only thing I can't actually do is link up any binders themselves because that's against FDA regulations. Whenever you're talking about dis-ease in the body, even if you're not giving medical advice, uh, you are not allowed to link up any of the so-called treatment protocols you may be talking about. But of course, I'm not here to provide any medical treatments, medical advice, medical diagnosis, or medical cures. What I want to do is I want to share with you how to actually get well, how to transform from your body, how to live longer, stronger through all natural means. And we can do that because we can find the underlying root cause as to what ails you. So let's get right into it. Uh, we've been using binders in my practice since about 2010, um, you know, right around there. And the reason is that's when we were, or I was transitioning into full uh, functional medicine-based practice. Uh, it was a it was an amazing year. I remember 2010 very, very well because I'd been doing nutrition and uh, strength and conditioning, personal training. I was working with, you know, celebrities and all that fun stuff. And uh, I knew I knew it was just my time. Like I knew that I knew that that phase of my career, which I loved, still love to this day, by the way, I love training. Uh, and I love, you know, doing exercise based protocols. But I knew that that was over. Um, I had spent 10 full time years doing that. And I was really in the in the depth of my uh, studies making that transition. And so um, that's when we started doing a lot more functional medicine-based protocols, even with our nutrition and, and fitness-based clients. So anyway, I've been using it for a long time. Binders have come a long way. You know, so what is a binder in the first place? Well, a binder is essentially a powder or capsule. And the capsule is just an encapsulated powder. That's all that it is. You just don't taste it. And the typical one, like back in the day, was charcoal. That's what basically everybody used. And you might say, oh, I've heard of charcoal before. That's something that you swallow or take when you get food poisoning. And that's absolutely correct. So when you eat something that you shouldn't have, you can bind it up. <coughs> Excuse me. You can bind it up with uh, charcoal or a binder so that it doesn't get reabsorbed into the bloodstream and so that it doesn't affect the rest of your intestines and it safely and easily moves out of your body. And so, um, but again, like I said, binders have come a long way. Many people use them before an infrared sauna. They use them before a cheat meal, before alcohol, uh, before a mold protocol, uh, gut protocol, digestion, weight loss protocol, heavy metal detox, functional medicine detox, and much more. We'll be talking about exactly how to go through all of those protocols towards the end of the show using a binder. But the reason why people use them is it cuts down on all the symptoms that you don't want. So let's say that you have brain fog or headaches migraines, skin rashes, allergies, environmental sensitivities, food sensitivities, uh, et cetera. So any of those things that bother you when you go outside, you eat certain foods, you're doing a protocol, or you're losing weight, or even from exercise, right? Because that includes a, a certain type of oxidation of the body. Well, what a binder does is simply this. When all of those nutrients get moved from the blood, and I'm going to show you if you're watching on video with my buddy Walter here. We've got a bunch of these in the house. My daughters have one. I've got a few, depending on my office and location. But when we look at, at our model here, Hank, or Walter, sorry, there's his Hank, this is Walter. So when it moves through all the blood, it's going to end up here in your liver. Now, the liver is this massive organ underneath the right side of your rib cage. You'll almost hopefully never know that it's there. Because if it's doing its job, it takes all of the toxins from the blood, and it moves them right into the intestines. Now, it does so 
um, at least at one point with some of the bile ducts right here at the end of the small intestine. So you get about 20 feet or so of small intestine. Uh, that is connected, of course, to your stomach and then into your small intestine. Well, the very last part of your small intestine is called the ileum. And the ileum leads, called the terminal ileum, that's the very end of the ileum, and it leads directly into your colon. So now all of those toxins get moved right into the small intestine and get ready to move into the colon, the large part, that's the large intestine, which is about five or six feet, and then that gets harmlessly removed from the body. So in an ideal world, that is exactly what happens. So toxins are in the blood, they get moved to the liver, the liver moves them to the intestines. Now, sometimes they'll be <clears throat> in the blood and get moved through the kidneys, and sometimes the skin, and to a smaller degree, the lungs. Well, what a binder does is when those toxins are being moved from the liver, the bile, into the intestines, now the binder traps them so they don't get reabsorbed through the intestines, which they can do. Okay, so that is exactly how a binder works. Uh, really, really powerful, and that's why, again, it helps with all of the symptoms that I shared with you about brain fog and skin rashes and headaches and um, sensitivities, etc. Okay, so one of the most powerful things that we see in the functional medicine industry is almost the rediscovery of Ayurvedic medicine and TCM, which is traditional Chinese medicine. TCM and Ayurveda knew many thousands of years ago that things like apples and clay, like bentonite clay, and charcoal for the most part as well, no doubt about it, bamboo, all of these things worked really well for detoxification, or I should say binding and removal. So what they used was bentonite clay, sometimes charcoal. And again, these are two great products that absolutely do help with binding up mold, mycotoxins, which is essentially byproducts of mold, <clears throat> bacteria, yeast, uh, sometimes even viruses, if they're in the intestines, as well as heavy metals, if I haven't already mentioned that. And, and parasites, if I haven't mentioned parasites as well. And so the goal, of course, is to be able to use the best binding ingredients possible while also being sensitive of those with histamine issues, which is like the sensitivities, the allergies, the hives, the brain fog, the headaches, etc. So what we did, just to cut right to the chase, is we've been doing this a long time. And we realized that although charcoal is a great binder, the issue was not all of it was from food-based. Um, so I think that that was important. We, we created a uh, coconut hull, so basically the outside of the coconut, which is typically not used, that's charred and that creates a natural charcoal. So that was easy. But we didn't want to put it first. We have a product called the Universal Binder. Again, you can use any binder you want. I'm just teaching you about it and you'll be able to look for these ingredients. The first um, item we use is called bentonite clay. It's clean, comes from the earth, has a negative ion charge, easily attracts, <coughs> excuse me, easily attracts pathogens, binds them up and can move them through the intestinal tract. So we love that about that. It's a really uh, phenomenal ingredient. Uh, we also use humic and fulvic acid. Those are extracts from shilajit. Shilajit is a great product uh, in its raw state. It can sometimes have a heavy metals itself because it's picking those up from the earth. That's obviously its job. So as I said, shilajit is a great Ayurvedic-based resin. Uh, we just want to make sure we use the extracts of that, which are phenomenal for binding to heavy metals like aluminum, mercury, etc., uh, and also helping with liver detoxification, which we'll get to in a moment. We use a product called apple pectin. So again, apples have been known for many, many years, thousands of years, uh, to be great at binding and removing. Uh, there are many reasons for this. The malic acid from apples themselves helps open up bile ducts, loosen the bile, and move that all those toxins directly into the intestines. Uh, but again, we used apple pectin for a different reason, which is affinity for binding to molds and metals as well. Plus, it creates a gel-like substance, a natural gel-like substance, which keeps everything trapped inside, so all those harmful chemicals do not get then reabsorbed through the intestines. Um, I've already spoken about before, but a good um, carbonized activated charcoal uh, from, it could be from, yeah, it could be from bamboo, could be from coconut hulls, that's a nice one. Uh, that is an ingredient that we use. We also use something called bamboo shoots, and it 
provide silica. Silica is probably one of the top items uh, in terms of binding to aluminum. So since aluminum is the most pervasive uh, heavy metal in the environment, the one that most people are exposed to, it's a great item to have in there. Uh, the other two are taurine and tutka. And taurine helps with the second phase of liver detoxification. So that is the one most people are short on because they're not eating enough cruciferous vegetables or garlic or other items like that. So what taurine does is actually helps with that liver conjugation. It helps with that phase two detoxification to help take those chemicals and move them right out of the body. And tutka actually helps with the bile salt production and the, the movement of bile from the liver actually into the intestines. So uh, it's really a well thought out, I think well-rounded product that enables practitioners and patients or wellness clients alike to use this in any variety of ways that they choose. So how do people use it? Well, again, um, for someone like myself who's already healthy, and they are not experiencing any of those symptoms. I had that in the past, of course. I wish I had this many, many years ago. But how I used it was this. I did a seven-day functional medicine detox, the Equal Life one in January. So I took three capsules upon waking uh, each of those seven days. For something like the Parasite Protocol, which I do once a year, so do my daughters, uh, and the Heavy Metal Detox, which my family does as well, um, that I can give you as well uh, on exactly how to do it, so I'll do it during those too. The other times I would do it is that if I'm going out for a cheat meal, and it's going to be a big celebration, whatever it might be, I'll take two to three before that meal. I'll get to the serving size in just a moment. And then um, another one I think that that's important is that if you're someone that consumes alcohol, what you can do is consume one capsule per drink that you're consuming. Now, up to like three or four capsules maximum. So if you're having more than three or four drinks, I would still just max it out, keep it at three. That, that's really all you're going to need. Um, if you're someone that doesn't want to really feel any of the effects like me, and I'll have at max one drink if I were to go out, I'm, I very, very infrequently consume alcohol now just because I just it affects my sleep. I, I check all of my different stats. And even if I feel okay, there's just that little bit that I know that I'm off a bit. And so again, yeah, every once in a while, special occasion, out with some friends, special celebration, whatever it might be, sure. And I'll just take three capsules, uh, even if I'm just having one drink and I'll just consume it with that drink. So really easy, really straightforward. Another time is this. Let's say you're having your mercury amalgams removed or you're doing explant surgery. Uh, you'll you'll want to use that, especially with infrared sauna. So before or during or after your infrared sauna, you can take two or three of the universal binder uh, or an equivalent product and actually help to bind up those toxins. So uh, the reason we made the universal binder with three capsules as a serving is so that you could dose it based on bioindividuality. We're big on bioindividuality in our uh, integrative health practice. And the reason is we know that some people, they need to start off with a much smaller amount. So they might just start with one capsule, see how they do, see if there's any reaction. Good, that's a great way to do it. Also for children, you don't want children to do a full three capsules. If they weigh 50 pounds, they only need to do one capsule, right? That's just one capsule instead of three. If they're a 50 pound child, 50 to 100 pounds, two capsules. And then above that, as a teenager, they could probably do three if they're above 100 pounds and above, let's say, 12 years old or so. Okay, so that is how we are using the binder for the most part. I'm going to go through it in terms of the protocols. But before I do, it's kind of like who shouldn't use it? Well, uh, pregnant and nursing, we typically aren't doing any detox-based protocols. So there's no CBO protocol, parasite protocol, functional medicine detox. Um, there's not a lot of infrared sauna or anything like that, or no infrared sauna, right? So we're not, we don't have a need for a binder. The only time you may take a binder as like a once off every once in a while would be if you ate something and you got sick to your stomach and you don't want that bacteria moving in your body. Okay, that may make sense, right? That Because the binder stays in the intestines. That's the nice thing about it. All right. So what I'd like to do is take you through exactly how we use it for all of our individual protocols. And again, you can use it as you see fit. So the functional medicine detox we do, that helps open up the drainage and the liver-based pathways. And that is the four shakes on days one and two, and then the two shakes on days three through seven with the two whole food meals. So that one's easy. You just take three capsules upon waking. Very simple, very straightforward. That traps all of the toxins that got mobilized overnight into the intestines and will remove them from the body. The CBO protocol... Again, we can't link to any of these. So if you're interested in learning more about them, you can just go to stephencabral.com forward slash shop. Functional medicine detox. Now we're on the CBO protocol. That is for gut-based issues. Yeast, 
bacteria, bloating, digestive issues, et cetera. Okay, so what you're going to do for this one is you're going to take a product called Florafilm. It's all outlined, by the way, on the website. It's all free that you can check, take a look at it. You don't have to actually purchase it to know how to do these because we try to open source all the information for the industry as well. So this is something our integrative health practitioners do. If you ever need help implementing these protocols, I would go to integrativehealthpractitioner.org and you'll be able to click on the practitioners tab and you'll be able to find a practitioner near you and most of them work virtually. So you can pick anyone that you would like to work with. All right, so the CBO protocol, uh, that's floor film upon waking along with your antimicrobials. Then 30 minutes later, you'll take your binder and then you'll wait an, at least an hour before having breakfast. So it's, it's not that difficult to do. It just takes a little extra step. The children's CBO protocol is the same way. It's just obviously a smaller dosage, but you're taking your fluorofilm, your antimicrobials, wait 30 minutes, then take your binder, because you want, you want to give your enzymes and your antimicrobials, if possible, a 30-minute head start. They're gonna, there's no food in your stomach. You're just going to go directly into your small intestine, and it's going to start to work on killing any of the gut bugs that may be there, as well as the biofilm. Then, after they are being destroyed, the binder comes in, and it's going to bind them all up. All right, Your breakfast can be an hour later. The Parapro support protocol, so parasites, et cetera, Again, not providing any medical advice. <coughs> um, the Parasport is going to do the fluorofilm. That's a biofilm disruptor as well. So that's first thing in the morning. 30 minutes later, you'll do your binder, uh, and then it, you'll have your breakfast an hour later, if, if you have breakfast at all. That's obviously a personal choice. All right, the mold protocol. You're going to take your antimicrobials upon waking, then wait 30 minutes, then do your binder, and then you can do your breakfast or so an hour later. The heavy metal detox, you are going to take your enzymes first, like fluorofilm or your antimicrobials. And then, again, what, what is this thing, fluorofilm? Well, fluorofilm is literally, um, when you have inflammation in your gut, parasites, yeast overgrowth, bacterial overgrowth, even H. pylori, etc., you're... Those gut bugs create essentially a protective wall. It's made of fiber and it's like a gel-like substance. And fluorofilm is a natural enzyme that helps dissolve that so you can actually get at all of the gut bugs that are there in order to regain your digestive health, right? And your immune health overall. So the fluorofilm helps with that, very easy. You take that upon waking along with your anti- uh, microbials for the heavy metal detox. It's um, you'll, you'll see those, they're, they're more herbal based. And then 30 minutes later, you can do your binder. All right, so very straightforward. If you're doing the fat lossity based program for weight loss, metabolism, refixing that diurnal rhythm, even thyroid, you'll take three upon waking. And then you just follow your protocol as normal. The advanced renewal system, which is our anti-aging based uh, system, you take three upon waking. And then at breakfast, you can take your uh, cell boost. And then at dinner, you can take your three of Flamasooth. And then Flamasooth can be done earlier in the day too, as needed. So that's totally up to you. All right, so that is basically it. If uh, one of the questions that always comes up is, well, what if you get constipation? Totally understand. For those people that are prone to constipation, we have something called the intestinal cleanse, which is the universal binder. And again, you can use any binder you'd like. The universal binder, along with the intestinal cleanse formula, which is an Ayurvedic formula that helps to get the bowels moving gently. So this is something that you can do any day of the week. You don't have to take off time from work. But what it does is it gets the bowels moving, and there's a binder to make sure everything is bound up at the same time. So if you're someone prone to constipation, then you can use the intestinal cleanse uh, as part of this universal binder-based protocol. The last thing I sh should say is that one of the reasons why people really do like the uh, universal binder is that there's no charcoal taste, there's no <clears throat> aftertaste, there's no bitterness in the mouth. This is all encapsulated. But if you're someone, though, that does not want to take capsules, all you have to do is pull apart the capsule and you'd have the powder. It's literally the same exact thing, but in a capsule form. So you can always take it out. You can mix it in some applesauce for kids or a little pomegranate juice, like whatever it is that you need to do. And you can always do that. Again, not giving any medical advice, but this is how our practitioners do this all the time. And so I wanted to share that with you. So this uh, podcast, this particular show is by popular request, people wanting to understand uh, exactly how to use a binder in everyday practice. And it's also our, our everyday life. And then for practitioners as well, how to use it with specific protocols. So ideally, get those enzymes and antimicrobials in first if you can. Send the binder behind them. Just needs about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and then you're good to go. For the rest of the day, you just follow your protocol as normal. And there'll be times of the day that you can take the binder before bed. 
There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to take it away from food. So ideally, it's first thing in the morning or before bed. So if you're on a protocol with another practitioner, um, that's typically the two times of the day that you would take it. And then there's specific uh, parameters that you would take, but that would be working with the guidance uh, of a practitioner like an IHP or your local naturopathic doctor uh, or simply following another protocol, all right? So hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm gonna actually link up the product guide, all the different ingredients, what to look for. Again, you don't have to use Equalife. You're welcome to, but you don't have to. Um, so I'll link up everything at stephencabral.com forward slash 2568. Let me know if there's any comments in the questions or questions in the comments, and I'd be happy to help. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Take care. One more thing I wanted to share with you before we left today is that whenever you're using a binder, such as the Universal Binder or really any functional medicine company or even just charcoal, what you don't want to do is take it with medication. If you've pre been prescribed a pharmaceutical drug, whether it's thyroid to take it first thing in the morning or blood pressure medication, et cetera, what you don't want to do is take it at the same time as a binder or take the medication after you've taken the binder. Because what will happen is that you will actually get a lower dosage of that particular pharmaceutical drug. It will bind up the benefits you are looking for from that drug. So if you're taking a thyroid medication and you're supposed to take it upon waking and you took a binder, it would not give you that thyroid boosting benefit. So my recommendation is to always use your pharmaceutical drugs as prescribed. And if you're taking them first thing in the morning, wait at least an hour before taking your binder so that you can get your clinical based effect. Again, when in doubt, please do ask your physician. We're not here to provide any medical advice for you, but I wanted to share that with you just so that you know that again, if you're taking any type of pharmaceuticals, you take it away from your binder for best benefits. Hopefully that was helpful. Ever wonder what the best sauna, blue blockers, sleep trackers, wake lights, salt lamps, or other health gadgets are? Or what about the top non-toxic mattresses, sheets, soaps, bath products, toothpaste, and cookware? Or would you like to know the cleanest choices for hemp parts, meal delivery services, supplements, and much more? I personally curated, researched, and now created a resource page of all of my top picks that continues to grow each week. These are the exact products I use in my own life, with my family, in my private practice, and they're the ones I trust. To find out all of my up-to-date recommendations and all the details, simply head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash resources.